thoughts on, on how it ended? And do you think you're still on the right with how the fight ended? You know, man, nothing's ever come easy for me in life. So uh, it's just another small roadblock. I, uh, I, I, he wasn't in a three-point stance. I thought you had to have a hand grounded with, with two feet or a knee and a foot, whatever. Uh, they told me afterwards that um, the, gr the knee makes you automatically grounded. Um, all right, stupid rule, because you got these guys. Can I speak freely, or do I need to watch yeah. cuss words? These dudes are being pussies and uh, playing this touch, touch game, hang on, touch. You know what I mean? They're not coming to really fight. You know, I wish Oliveira the best. You know, I hope I hope he isn't seriously hurt or whatever. But uh, you you can disqualify me because I intentionally threw the knee and I, I I meant to hurt him. I tried to go for the finish. I do that in every fight. And since I moved up to 170, I've I've showed a killer instinct. I haven't had to fight on fumes. The media saying all I can do is is strike, but I can wrestle. I can grapple. That's my fault for limiting myself in my in my previous uh, my previous fights. But I was getting my wrestling going, my grappling going in this fight, and uh, I was just starting to get tuned in and uh, I was starting to beat Oliveira down. And um, you know, I'm mean, spending a lot of money on this. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing fans say that we need a union and we need to make more money and all this. But the fans need to shut their mouths, start talking about more of the fighters that are on, that don't have McGregor's name and Silva and all this. Start talking about the rest of us on the roster. You guys want to see us get paid, help make more superstars, and, and shut your mouths. Is that on the fans or is that on the UFC to build the stars? It's on the fans because without the fans and without the money coming in, we don't have a UFC and we don't have fighters. So the fans need to speak up and help the fighters out. They're trying to help us. But like this, this event is sold out. So mm -hmm. you're speaking here. I mean, don't don't you need the promotion to push the stars? And I, I talked to Dana about that too because I think I bust my ass and uh, you know I'm on Fight Pass and there's 12 people out there or whatever. So I talked to Dana about what I need to do to market myself. So I talked to the boss and uh, I'll sit, I have his phone number. We'll sit down. We'll discuss it. You know, but um. The fans need to speak up. They help bring revenue in for us, and they, uh, they need to help build some of these other fighters as well. Put, us in, put me or any of these other fighters in, in, in the talks we're talking about, McGregor and these guys. You know, those guys are making a ton of money because they're being talked about by millions of people. Was he receptive to your... Absolutely. He thought it was a fair knee. He thought that I was winning the fight. Oh, you spoke to Dana? Um, I, I talked to Dana. Yeah, they took me right back there to, take, to talk to Dana right away. Uh, he says he'll contact me, and uh, you know we're going to walk through and figure out how to market me better and go from there. I didn't. I thought it had to be a three-point stance. Okay. So, uh, like I said, I didn't come to break any rules. I came to win violently, and uh, uh, I, I saw the one knee down. I thought there had to be a three-point stance. You think a three-point stance is you think of football, right? You have that two feet and a hand down, or one knee and a and a foot in the hand. I thought there needed to be three points. Did you, you were in there. Did you get the sense that he overplayed? Like his reaction was overplayed? Uh, I don't know. The first knee landed pretty good. You know, I know it's already busting him up. You watch a lot of my fights. The dude's bleeding. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think he was trying to find a way out or anything like that. But uh, uh, I, I came to get paid, man, and now I have to pay out all this money to my managers and my coaching staff and my, and my, in my gym, and I'm gonna take care of those guys and and keep what I can for my kids and myself. If Dana said that he, you know, agreed that you weren't in the wrong, is he going to pay you any kind of extra bonus? He, he didn't say anything like that. So, mm -mm. do you feel like, especially now with the rules evolving? There are some new rules in some states coming as of January 1st that it would behoove everyone to maybe get a refresher as to, because you've been in the sport for a long time, for you not to know that is surprising. Because yeah. it's a rule that's been around for a while. Yeah, it's not something we've come across, you know what I mean? Uh, stop. Got, got, guys are just, uh, they're, they're playing that sissy ass game, either stand up or stay down, you know? And you know there's that in between, that in between. You need to have a hand touching for it to be a three point stance, man. You got to have a hand touching. If you have one knee down and you're hanging out there, that's your fault. Stand up or sit down on your butt and pull guard, you know? Defend yourself at all costs, you know? But you're hanging out in that no man's land, you're going to get yourself hurt, just like happened tonight, you know? Uh, defend yourself at all costs. Stand up or, or, or get to a position to defend yourself. But that, he was just, he was just playing the game there and he, he got caught. And, and what's the issue with the media? Is there something specific that was said or written about you that you took umbrage with? Uh, you know, uh, it's easy for the media to sit there and write and type, and they take all this work. We bust our ass. And I'm talking about all the fighters. We bust our ass. And in the five minutes or two minutes or 45 seconds or whatever we're in there for, you guys break it down and tear us down in just a couple seconds. We bust our ass to get in there and help you guys have a story to write and for everyone here to have a job. I have a job. The bosses have a job. And you guys tear us down in a matter of seconds. And we've worked weeks and months. We've worked through the holidays for you to sit there and, and, 
and pretty much degrade us and put us down, you know? We bust our ass and we look for respect, you know? We want some respect. The fighters work their asses off for you guys to put so little, little into an effort into a write-up to tear down their work. Is there a specific one that you read? Because, I mean, that is the job of the media, right? To just critique. It is the job of the media, man. Um, <clears throat> Man, I'm a little emotional right now. It, uh, I came here to get into a fist fight. I worked through the holidays. I watched people eat, and I watched my kids open their gifts and smile, and it was a great feeling to give to them, and uh, I need to put money back in that, that account or whatever. But uh, I kept all my emotions in to come here and get into a fist fight, and I didn't get enough of it out, so I'll be in the gym tomorrow hitting it back. You don't have to be specific, but like, how much money are you making by not winning the fight? Are you just breaking even? Are you Money. I'm, a, I'm making money, man, but I'm going to take care of my coaching staff and my coaches and my people. They put as much work in this as, as I did, you know what I mean? And uh, at the end of the day, you know, you, you, I, get, I get 35 grand a show and then taxes on top of that and then my coaching fees on top of that. And it just, it, 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 it's, hard to, it's hard to swallow for a no contest. Just, just disqualify me. Would you like to just fight him again to try to settle this or do you want to move on now? Uh, man, I mean, I'm just looking to fight, you know what I mean? I know there's a lot of guys out there that want to want to knuckle up or whatever, but um, I think I proved my point that he wasn't just going to go in there and muscle me around. People look at my frame and think I'm weak or something, and uh, I, I wasn't losing a lot of those exchanges. So um, for a guy that people are talking about so athletic and so gifted in strength, uh, I thought I was starting to run over that. So it sounds like I mean, you want to get right back in there. Is there a timetable that you're looking at to just jump back in as soon as possible? Oh, man, I'm not going to think ahead for fights right now. I got some leftovers at home and some turkey made, and the family cooked me a bunch of Christmas food. So spend time with the wife tomorrow, do the holiday thing here, and then uh, uh, I'm going home to beat up on some turkey and some yams and then, uh, you know, kiss my kids and hang out with them. And, you know, I really do work for a great company. It's really awesome to see here and talk to you guys and stuff. But I work so hard, fighters, not just me, fighters in general. And, you know, at the end of the day, we get the short end of the stick because um, of, of, a silly, of a silly role that, is getting changed. It's brought that up. It's being changed, or it has been changed. It goes into effect here soon, or whatever. But um, it's my error, I guess. Tim, I was wondering. The last time you spoke with us, you said that you were going through a really difficult, really custody battle. How yeah. has that worked out for you? Has it changed? It sounds like it, things have turned around a bit. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, it's going to be a year here in January that I've had my girls, so that's all good. I got to the USADA deal. What people don't realize is I did my custody, my USADA thing, all at the same time. It's very challenging, you know what I mean? And then I went from clearing a bunch of money last year with the UFC to I was making nine bucks an hour. So nothing's come easy to me in life. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep pulling teeth and pulling hair, and I'll just keep clawing my way to the top. And I'll be here each time out to talk to you individuals. And, uh, you know, we'll just go from there.